guys. Obviously I was fake sleeping. That's why I'm like not miserable right now. Realistically, I wake up at like 3 p.m. And I know you guys are wondering, what about her productive morning routine video? I'm here to tell you right now that I am a fraud. I'm kidding, I'm not a fraud. Sometimes I actually try to be productive in the morning, but most of the time, babe, it's looking like this. So today's just gonna be my realistic morning routine. My usual morning routine does actually happen at like noon, not the morning. The point is I, I sleep a lot. I could sleep for like a week straight if I wanted to. Anyway, the first thing I do when I wake up is obviously go on my phone cause like you're literally a psychopath if you don't do that. Usually if I wake up early, I'm not hungry in the morning like whatsoever. So I don't even bother eating. So obviously right now I'm gonna eat cause I woke up at like noon, but I'm not eating breakfast. I'm gonna have some like leftovers or something. We'll see what I have. Um, okay, so hey, this is my kitchen. It's kind of a mess, but I'm gonna look in the fridge for some leftovers. Um, it kind of looks gross right now, but like it's literally my favorite food ever. If you're Italian, you know what it is. Okay, so. Yummy. So we're putting some spicy oil in this. Let's eat together. Okay, so back upstairs, cause the only reason I ever come downstairs is to eat. I'm gonna be so real with you at this point, I would just get back into bed. I feel like I might just do that. Okay, I told you I would do more vlogs. I didn't, maybe I did promise they would be better. Okay, you can't see on camera, but I promise you my eyebrows literally look like a woolly mammoth right now. Like I have not touched these hoes in a while. So I wanna feel pretty again. We're done. I can't put up with this pain right now. Okay, son. I can't tell. I feel like I look bad. So I'm gonna be real transparent with you guys right now. I have not showered in a while and I kind of feel disgusting. So we're gonna do that. I really, truly wanna go back to sleep. This is like holding on for dear life. I'm debating on washing my hair because it's too much work, but I also have not washed it in a bad minute. This is what this is the kind of shit that stresses me out. I'm gonna be honest, it takes a lot of strength for me to not go back into bed. And no, I don't make my bed. Don't get influenced by my actions in this video. Make your bed, guys. Don't don't be as lazy as me, okay? Like I just gonna put that out there. Okay, so why am I feeling myself? This is not normal of me to do. I was kind of not talking enough earlier. I don't know. I don't know if you guys noticed, but whenever I wake up, I don't talk. You probably think I'm a weirdo. When I first get out of bed, I really just don't talk. Like my family even, they're like, what happened to you every time I wake up? It's like, I wake up on the wrong side of the bed every morning. I love my life. Also, don't get too excited. I'm not naked. Okay. Okay, so I actually have a full shower routine posted, so don't get mad at me for not showing you like every step. When you're done watching this video, go click the link in the description because I'm gonna link it there, babe. I'm gonna also link my productive morning routine there because, you know, it has to, has to balance out with this lazy piece of shit right here. And it's freezing. It, what the fuck is that?
I'm using this for shampoo. Um, I'm using this for conditioner. We're gonna let the conditioner sit up there. Today I'm gonna to show you some of my products from Skin 1004. They actually have two different like lines. And normally I would just use like the morning products right now, obviously, but I'm gonna use the night products too, just to show you guys. So obviously this isn't my first time trying the product. So let me tell you now, this, this is worth it. Also, I didn't properly wash my face in the shower because I'm gonna do it now. Okay, so first we have the Madagascar Centella Light Cleansing Oil. So this actually removes makeup and really well, by the way. It removes sebum and oil and it cleanses your face thoroughly so you don't have to double cleanse. But guess what? We're going to do it anyway, just because I want to show you all the products. So first you just put it onto your dry palm and you gently massage it in circular motions. This contains their main ingredient, Madagascar Centella, together with six plant-based oils. And then you slightly emulsify it with water. I just got water from the sink. It's a very mild cleansing oil, which melts away surface impurities and makeup and cleanses skin with a lightweight formula, leaving skin purified and refreshed. And then rinse it off with lukewarm water. This leaves your skin so glowy after. This literally melts away surface impurities and makeup. This is the Madagascar Centella Ampoule Foam. It thoroughly removes residues with fine soda powder, smaller than your pores. Okay, so you apply it onto your palm and then wet it before putting it on your face. And then you just gently massage it into your face. This is a pH 5 weak acid foam for sensitive skin, seeking maximum calming, moisturization, and minimum irritation. It also contains coconut oil instead of chemicals to prevent irritation. Next is the Madagascar Centella Toning Toner. This is actually a non-irritating exfoliator and it's suitable for all skin types especially sensitive skin. So we're just gonna put this on a cotton pad and gently apply it. This helps keep the skin moist, bright, and wrinkle-free. This contains centella extract from the island of Madagascar and PHA, which helps clean off dead skin cells. This also softens and brightens dull skin by exfoliating dead skin cells. It also has niacinamide, which helps reduce blemishes for light and healthy skincare. Most toners irritate my skin, but this one does not at all. This is the Madagascar Centella Ampule. This actually only contains one ingredient and that is Centella Extract from Madagascar. So we just use the dropper to drop a couple drops. This can be used even for sensitive skin every day. It's a healing ampule that helps repair skin barriers and provide hydration to damaged skin. Finally is the Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream. This is more of a skin barrier cream, which is also hydrating. It's also perfect for all skin types. And it has a cooling effect, which helps calm the skin. You just apply it straight to the skin when you're done your skincare, as it helps lock it in. It strengthens your inner skin barrier to help keep the skin's natural moisture, and it's a gel type, so it's easily absorbed by your skin. Okay, before we move on to the other line, I'm going to show you guys their Zombie Beauty line. First of all, this is anti-wrinkling. This is a lifting pack that improves skin simultaneously. Okay, so here we have the pack, the activator, and the applicator. You open the pack up, and it is literally just a powder. And then you're gonna wanna open the activator and literally put it into the pack. And then you're gonna wanna mix it around with the applicator. And then we're just gonna apply it to our face. This effectively lifts skin to manage all nine skin concerns, which are exfoliation, texture, tone, moisture, clearness, water oil balance, pores, elasticity, and lifting. Okay, and now we just wait 10 to 15 minutes to rinse it off with lukewarm water. Okay, so if you're wondering why my face is like that, <laughs> it dried. Um, it looks like I got a nose job for some reason. I'm like in love with my skin right now. Like absolutely in love. Okay, now on to the other line. This is the Madagascar Centella Hyalucica Brightening Toner. This literally makes your skin look flawless 
and the moisturization it gives is like i've never seen any toner do that in my whole life and it just makes your face have this like glowing moisture i'm just in love this is for people who experience dryness after washing their face people who have textured skin before makeup or have residual makeup so basically we just apply it to the cotton pad my skin's like already glowing from those other products and now I'm just taking it off. This has the golden ratio of hyaluronic acid for moisturization and Sika for calming of the skin. This contains exfoliating AHA and LHA, 74% centella Asiatica leaf water. It's also anti-wrinkling for the dual functionality for clear and elastic skin. Next we have the Madagascar Centella Hyalucica Blue Serum. This is a moisturizing serum that soothes dry and sensitive skin. And this is for people who have dry skin but like a greasy surface. People who need hydration and calming. And for people who have rough or dry skin. We apply this to the skin after toning, but if your skin is really dry, you could do two layers. This is made up of five layers of hyaluronic acid, which absorbs deeply into the skin to provide long-lasting moisture. This has niacinamide and adenosine, and ivy leaf extract, which energizes dull skin. This is the Madagascar Centella Hyalucica Sleeping Pack. This actually protects your skin from losing moisture overnight and it works. This vitalizes skin during sleep and is anti-wrinkling. This is for people who have dry and tired skin even after they sleep, have visible wrinkles from sagging skin, and indented skin that has trouble recovering. Refrigerating actually makes this product last longer and it has a cooling effect on your face. This is just to be applied after your whole skincare right before you go to sleep. This has melatonin which helps form healthy skin by providing a beauty sleep to calm and tighten the skin. And now everything is locked into my face. I don't know if you could tell a difference in my skin from when I first woke up, but I definitely can. Bitch, I look like a glazed donut! Skin1004's website will be linked in my description below. Um, I'm like in love with my skin right now. Like I do all this and still get no volume. Okay, it's time for makeup. I need to film some stuff, so that's what we're gonna do. This is temporary. Show you guys my little makeup routine. I also have a video of my full makeup routine posted, so I will also link that in the description below. But you better finish this video first. Don't click off yet, babe. I'm using the Born This Way foundation in a lighter and darker shade because I'm not my whitest potential yet, but I'm also not my most tan potential, so <sighs> somewhere in the middle. I really want to listen to music right now, but I'm gonna get copyrighted. So I'm gonna have to suffer in silence and just listen to the strokes of my brushes. Um, I'm gonna be using this for powder. Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm like really focused right now. Using this to contour. Anyway, my life has just been kinda really hard lately. Like probably the hardest it's ever been in my life. And I just want you guys to know, if you're going through the same thing, you are not alone. <laughs> Trust me. I'm just taking it day by day. Every time I catch myself stressing out, I tell myself to stop <laughs> until I stop. I'm using this dirty ass thing to do blush. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing a video of doing my sister's makeup. A lot of you want to see my sister. I've shown her before, but they want like a sister tag type shit. Let me know if you want that type of video. Using this, the literal thing is gone, but I'm using it to highlight. I've overused this bitch so much that the writing is literally gone. I'm using this for my eyebrows. I never used to fill them in. I never used to even put on mascara before. But yeah, I never used to put on mascara or fill in my eyebrows, but one day just went by and I was like, I'm too insecure for this shit. That's another life lesson I'm gonna teach you today. It's okay to be insecure. Like, I know all of you are sexy ass beasts and you have no reason to be insecure, but like, don't let it get you down. 
especially with social media. I'm saying this like it's not my job, but like social media is so toxic, especially the fakeness of it. Like everyone posts looking their absolute best, never, never otherwise. I'm trying to gear away from that because I do admit I, I would do that just to boost my own confidence up, but like you guys are more important. So the moral of the story is I'm going to try to be more real on social media, not only show myself when I'm at my best, you know, especially because when I'm at my best, it doesn't, it doesn't happen a lot. So you're going to have no content. So we all know that negative self-talk is, is really bad because it, it literally doesn't do you any good, but it actually does you harm. Even if you're not intending to like actually bring yourself down, like even if you're joking about it, like those jokes like, oh my God, I want to kill myself, which like, I'm that bitch that says that. Your mind actually starts to believe that it's true and it's just going to bring you down. So if you ever catch yourself, I can't line my lips and talk at the same time. If you ever catch yourself doing that, stop. Everyone tells me that whenever I curl my lashes, it looks like my eyes about to fall out. And I'm gonna be totally honest, I think they might be right. Yeah, I feel really sexy. Okay, so I just finished recording. The sun is out, I feel great. But yeah, my morning routine really isn't that long. To be honest, it's rare enough that I even showered this morning or did my makeup because I never even, I don't even get ready anymore. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking of taking off my makeup and just going to sleep. Like that kind of sounds like a great idea. Let me know what type of videos you guys want to see next. You guys requested this a lot. So like, you know, I had to do it. But in conclusion, I am a fraud. My productive morning routine video, it was it's not my usual morning this video is more more what it looks like anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment down below what you want to see from me next like subscribe share with your friends click the bell to get notified every time i post and i will see you guys in the next video i love you